Welcome to Telephone Training for the NEC SV9100 and IT Series phones. Today, we will discuss the physical features of the phone, call handling, which will include placing internal and external calls, putting calls on hold, parking and unparking, transferring, and conferencing. I will explain how to access your phone's directory, adjust your personal phone options, and how to set up and access your voicemail. Let's take a tour of the 24 button phone as we discuss some of the features. The phone has three different height settings and adjusts via the back brace. At the top of the phone display, you will notice a light indicator. This will flash for incoming calls and if you have a new voicemail. The display also adjusts up and down. In the display, you will have your date, time, extension number, and caller ID, which is presented during a call. Soft keys are feature buttons that appear in the bottom of your display and correspond with the four buttons below. The features adapt to the changing state of your phone. For example, when the phone is idle, the soft keys listed are list, directory, voice message, and a down arrow which accesses more features on the first two soft keys. ICM and program. To exit any screen, you may press the exit button located here or simply lift and replace the handset. The list soft key gives you the option to redial, which you can access down here as well, and CID, which accesses the caller ID for the last 50 incoming calls. If you notice, in the top left-hand corner, there is a handset with an arrow above. This indicates a missed call. To view the caller ID for the missed call, you press the CID soft key, Use your scroll up or down arrows. The missed call is indicated with an asterisk. Directory soft key accesses the programmed system-wide speed dials, or ABB, extension list, station speed dials, and telephone book. The voice message soft key accesses the voicemail platform, which we will go over later. If you lift the handset, the soft key features change to voice message, internal page, and external page. These paging features can be easily accessed on your DSS One Touch keys, which we will go over in a bit. When you are on a call, the soft key features will change as well. They are conference, repeat redial, save, which saves the number to your directory, and transfer. Next, we have the 24 programmable keys. These keys can offer you features, extensions, speed dials, and line appearances. To see what is programmed on each key, you can first press the help button located top right, followed by the individual key. Moving down, we have the fixed feature section. Along our dial pad, we have recall, feature, answer, microphone, menu, our function scroll buttons, speaker, transfer, and hold. Recall provides dial tone while connected to an outside line. Feature, used occasionally to access telephony feature setup. Answer button allows you to answer external calls that are ringing your phone. The first call will be put on hold automatically. Mic allows you to turn your mic on and off. If the mic button is not lit or is flashing, that indicates the mute is on. If the mic button is solid, mute is off. Menu provides access to other phone settings such as ringer volume, 
off-hook ringing, and backlight options. Scroll buttons allow you to adjust volume control for handsets, speaker, ringing, and also adjust the brightness of your LCD display. The left scroll also provides access to the redial function and the right to your directory. Speaker gives you hands-free capability. Transfer allows you to transfer to another extension, voicemail, or outside line. Hold will put internal or external calls on hold. Now we will discuss call handling. To place an outside call, you lift the handset or press speaker button, dial 9 plus the 10 digit number you wish to call. To place an internal call, lift the handset or press speaker button, dial the extension number or DSS one touch key if programmed. To answer an incoming call, you can identify the caller ID information on the display, lift the handset or press the speaker button to be connected. To answer a second call, you simply press the answer button. This automatically places the first call on hold. The hold button will hold the call exclusively for your phone. To place a call on hold with the call in progress, press the hold key. The line key will flash. To retrieve the call, press the flashing line key. To place a call on park, which is a system-wide hold that allows any extension with park buttons to pick up the parked call, you press any available park key. The park key will flash and disappear once the call is answered. If the call is not answered, it will recall to the telephone that parked the call. This is indicated by the color of the key, green or red. To retrieve the park call, press the flashing park key. To transfer a call internally, press the transfer button or transfer soft key, dial the extension. For a blind transfer, simply hang up or stay on the line to announce the call. To complete the transfer, simply hang up. If you have a call parked and you need to retrieve it, simply hit the flashing park key line. To transfer a call directly to voicemail, press the transfer button or transfer soft key, press the voice message, dial the extension, and hang up. To transfer a call off-site to another number, you would press the transfer button or transfer soft key, dial 9, plus the 10 digit number you want to transfer to. Announce the call when they answer the phone. Hang up to complete the transfer. Please note the phone system will use two lines for the duration of the external transferred call. This can be an issue for systems with limited phone lines, also known as trunks. To set up a conference call, place your first call, Press the conference key, the original call is placed on hold, dial the extension or external number of the party you would like to conference,
Press the add soft key when the party answers or release to end the second call. If you want to add another party, you may dial them now or press the begin soft key to join all parties to the conference call. Up to 16 parties can participate depending on your phone configuration. Now, let's go over some additional button programming on this phone. The zero out button identifies incoming calls that have been in the voicemail system and the caller has chosen to speak to someone rather than to leave a message. Some businesses consider this call to be of higher priority. The call is answered as normal by lifting the handset or pressing speaker button. To place your extension in call forward mode, pick up the handset on your phone that you want to forward, press the call forward button, one to set, Dial the extension number or dial 9 plus the 10 digit number you want to forward to and hang up to complete the forwarding. The call forward key will stay lit while in call forwarding mode. To cancel call forwarding, press the call forward button and press 0 to cancel. To place your extension in Do Not Disturb, press the Do Not Disturb button, followed by the desired mode of Do Not Disturb. One blocks external calls only, two internal calls only, and three blocks all calls. If you do not choose one, two, or three, it will default to Do Not Disturb All after 30 seconds. The Do Not Disturb key will stay lit while in Do Not Disturb mode, and the mode is indicated in the display. To cancel Do Not Disturb, press the Do Not Disturb button and zero to cancel. To make an announcement over the speaker of the telephones or all call page, lift the handset, press the page button, wait for the tone, Make your announcement. Use the telephone switch to hang up quietly. Our last programmed button is record. This will record a conversation to your voicemail box. While in a call, press the record button. You will hear a beep when recording begins. Press the record button again to end recording. The recorded call will be stored in your voicemail. Please note, each state has different laws regarding voice recording notification. Please check the laws in your state before recording conversations. To dial a number from your directory, press the directory soft key followed by the type or press the directory scroll button for system speed dials. Scroll until you find the desired number. Lift the handset or press speaker to place the call. To redial a call, press redial. To redial the last number, press pound. Or to redial a different number, press redial scroll to the desired number and lift the handset or press speaker to place the call. To adjust the display contrast, press up or down of the scroll buttons while your phone is on hook. To adjust the handset volume, lift the handset and press up or down of the scroll buttons. To adjust ringer volume, press speaker, dial 729, and use the up or down to adjust the volume. Press speaker again to save. 
To change ringtones, press speaker, dial 720. Press 1 for internal calls, 2 for external calls. Press 1 through 8 to hear the different ringtones and press speaker to save. On the next video, I will show you how to set up and access your voicemail.